Must the first and second angle on an 800 meter distance agree within 15 seconds? Okay, let's illustrate this error by taking a triangle and we'll illustrate the 15 second error in the angle measurement. And that 15 second error over an 800 meter distance creates a perpendicular error on our sighting. Uh, and that's what we want to calculate. All right, so we can take the 10 of 15 seconds, multiply it by the 800 meter distance, and that will give us the error. In this case, the 15 seconds is the error and angle, and we're propagating that error over an 800 meter distance, and that creates our error on our sighting point. 10 of 15 seconds times 800 is 0 .058. 0 0.058 is the error over the 800 meter distance. Now we need to start our ratio calculation. So we take 800 meters divided by 0 0.058 and that gives our ratio error. And the ratio error in this instance works out to 13,793 meters. The manual of standard practice requires one in 7,500. So in this case, 15 seconds is better than the minimum requirement. Now I'm going to show you how much error you actually could be allowed over the 20 over the 800 meter distance. In this case, it works out to 27 seconds. If you have an error of 27 seconds over 800 meters, we will see that that actually will satisfy the manual standard practice. So to calculate the error, you take the tangent of 27 seconds, multiply it by 800 meters, and in this case it works out to 0 0.1047. 800 meters divided by 0 0.0147 is, gives us our ratio of 1 to 76.39. So the MSP says we must be better than 1 in 7,500. You'll see that 7,600 is just barely better than the 1 in 7,500. Therefore, 27 seconds is acceptable. Therefore, the answer to this question is false.